I regularly walk at home to keep myself fit. The success mantra of healthy life is regular exercise. The same holds good for the platform. Salesforce does regular updates to keep the platform fit. I believe you are getting my point. Yes, today we are going to cover summer 21 updates in our platform news. We'll then see what's coming up for the Salesforce developers and we'll see what our extraordinary trailblazers are doing these days. Finally, we'll do a quick round of news items. All arcs are on Summer 21 now. Let's see some of the features and enhancements in this release. The long-awaited LWC feature Quick Actions is now generally available. There are two types of Quick Actions, Screen Actions and Headless Actions. The Screen Actions are similar to a standard Quick Action. It takes a Lighting Web component and opens it in a model on the page. The headless actions can be used to invoke JavaScript with a click of a button. You need not define any user interface. You can expose your LWC component as an action by setting the target to lightning record action in the meta file. You can check this blog to learn more about quick actions. It also covers the new base component lightning quick action panel. With this, you can add a header and footer to your LWC model in quick action. A new mandatory security update is effective from June 12, summer 21 release. Let's see what it is. The new security update prevents access to private or protected Apex getters from Aura and Lightning Web components. This example one Apex controller has a counter property that has a private getter. This Aura enabled method returns an instance of example one. With the security update enforced, the getData method call will no longer have access to the counter value, which leads to the runtime error. In this blog, developer advocate Philip shared a solution to scan such Apex properties. You can check it. You can now implement much better user experiences with the new multi-column screens in Flows. Here I am in Flow Builder. I have a contact info screen where I can enter the contact details. Let's run it. You can see that it has a linear layout of input elements in a single column. Let's go back to the Flow Builder and edit the contact info screen. Here you can see a new component called section. Let's drag and drop into the screen. On the right side bar, you can add columns to make it multi-column. Let's add a couple of columns. Let's now organize the input elements in these columns by dragging and dropping. Let's save it and run once again. Now we can see the newly designed user experience in action. Salesforce developer tools CLI and extension pack have weekly release cadence. Let's see some of the new features for Summer 21. We can check the changes in the file against the org using sfdx diff file against org. With the latest release, you can now check the changes in the folder against org. Here you can see so many files changed in my classes folder. Now let's see what's new in CLI. You can get the approximate count of the records in standard or custom objects using the new command sfdx force limits record counts display. You can use the minuses flag to specify the class list. For example, here you can see that I have approximately 23 records in my account object. The community has contributed to this command. Thanks to the community. Do you want to quickly check the files that will not be pushed to the org? You can use the command force source ignored list. Here is a list of files that are not pushed to the R. This refers to the dot force ignore file to determine the list of ignored files. I have a lot more updates to share. Let's catch up with some more updates in our quick news. Let's now look into some event news. The countdown started for the Trailhead DX. It is just five days away. If you haven't registered yet, register for free. It is packed with technical episodes, cutting edge demos, watch parties, 
circles of success and much more. You can use the agenda builder to plan the sessions that you want to attend. The agenda builder has the list of all the sessions. You can mark your favorite sessions and add it to your calendar. You can check this blog on developer.salesforce.com to learn more about Trailhead DX. I'm super excited to share the next event. Get ready for the first ever global Dreamforce. Dreamforce 2021 will be more inclusive than ever. It happens both in person and new digital experiences available for everyone from anywhere. It happens from September 21st to 23rd. So set a reminder. It's now time for my favorite segment, Community Focus. I know people who share food. I know people who share money. And what's more important is share knowledge that enables people to do whatever they want to do. Today, we have two trailblazers in Community Focus who share knowledge with other trailblazers. And they share name with each other. Both are called Santanu. A 23x certified Salesforce MVP started his Salesforce journey in 2016. You can find Santanu Boral answering queries in Stack Exchange or writing some blog with passion. You can visit santanuboral.blogspot.com to learn the latest content. Every blog on the site is well written. Each blog has a pattern. It has a motivation behind this blog. What is the use case? the possible end results and the solution approach. He creates the flow diagram of the components and implements them. You can also check his other blog posts on lighting web components and you can find tips on earning the Salesforce certifications. Let's now hear from Santanu Boral. My name is Santanu Boral. I'm Salesforce MVP and Janet uh, Salesforce mentor and Kolkata developer group leader. I love to share my knowledge through Stack Exchange and writing a post through my blogs on Salesforce. Uh, so keep learning and keep sharing your knowledge. I love playing chess. Many people love playing chess. But there are few people who implement the game. Santana Paul has explored a fun way of learning lighting web components. He has implemented a chess game using LWC and SLDS. Learning is fun. Sharing knowledge is even more fun. Santanu Pal has created a step-by-step -step learning path for lighting web components in his blog site santanu at online.com. It covers topics starting from basics to advanced concepts in LWC. You can also learn LWC open source. You can learn more advanced concepts like DOM manipulation in lighting web components through videos in his site. Let's now hear from Santanu Pal. Hey guys, hope you are doing well. I am Shantanu Pal. Currently, I am leading Salesforce Kolkata Developer Community Group. I like to share my idea, my knowledge uh, to Trailblazer community members. I have learned so many good things from these Trailblazer community members. Uh, I have built uh, many powerful lightning web components using Salesforce standard library. I like to uh, create a game using LWC, using open source library. As well as I have built recently chess game by LWC, you can visit my blog shantanu80online.com as well as my, visit my social channel LinkedIn and Twitter. Uh, that's it for today. Continue learning, keep breathing, be healthy and stay safe. Thank you everyone. Both Santanos do a lot more together. They lead the Kolkata Developer Group and have created a Telegram channel which is very dynamic. Thanks to all the trailblazers who are helping each other through the Telegram channel and a special thanks to both of you, Santanu Paul and Santanu Boral, for whatever you are doing for the community to achieve success. Now it's time to wrap with a quick round of news items. Building your own LWR template is now available in all supported editions without purchasing CMS. Previously, the template was available in developer edition or when you purchase Salesforce CMS in Enterprise, Performance and Unlimited editions. Build your own LWR template now includes a theme panel. As a result, you can brand your sites more efficiently with various colors, images and text. Transaction finalizers are now generally available. You can attach actions to asynchronous Apex jobs using transaction finalizers. Support ends for API versions 7 to 20. These versions will be retired in summer 22. 
You can now upload more data to enhance model accuracy for instant object detection. The image dataset can be a maximum of up to 10 GB. It was 2 GB earlier. That's all for today's news. I'll get back to some stretching exercises. Keep time blazing. Your opinion matters a lot to us. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, like and subscribe for more videos.